Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a video demonstrating the Meta Germany build. We're going to be going for your plan second, and we're even going to be doing this against the Expert AI mod, which is supposed to be much more difficult. And I'll properly introduce the mod a little bit later on. In this gameplay, we're going to be incorporating all of the guides I've done on this channel so far, from converting from stockpile to, to the tank medic video I just did, to general grinding, if you haven't seen it, Bitterseal also did a video on this in vanilla using this exact same build. For the most part, I have made a couple of corrections to it. We are not going to do smoke generators. You can actually do basic armor protection, which gives you welded armor, and the timing still works with that. And we'll also do gobles rather than send an attache because gobles will increase our stability long term, which is actually really good. Now let's go over the expert AI mod. The expert AI mod is supposed to be the meta build for most countries. At the very least, it's going to be a better build than vanilla AI. There's a very heavy focus on air, so you will struggle to get air against certain countries. The British had over 3,000 planes for the Battle of France, and for Barb, the USSR had 10,000 planes, and a lot of those are going to be Fighter 2s. It's definitely a mod where you need to optimize your build because the AI has decent industry, it has good air production, it should have good templates, it has in the past. I haven't really checked out the templates since No Step Back, but it did use quite meta templates pre No Step Back, so the templates should be pretty good, at least better than what the AI would normally build. As for settings with the Expert AI, we're going to turn all of the dynamic bonuses to the highest they go. Um, we're going to tell the AI to do the challenging military focuses, which means it does the proper military focuses and it should have the best military the AI is capable of generating. We're going to do Rhineland first focus, and then we're going to do electronic mechanical engineering, basic machine tools, and construction one. And we're going to leave the fourth slot empty so that we can tech juggle with that. For production, we're going to put four on artillery. Or in support equipment, we're going to get rid of the tanks. We don't need those. Same with the fighter ones. We're going to put three on tactical bombers in close air support. And then we're going to go up to four on trucks. I miss it here, but, but you should take two off of guns and put one on civilian trains, one on anti-air. Let's move the trucks to the bottom, tax to the top. The tax are the most expensive, so we want them to take the lowest resource penalty. For construction, we're just going to build civs. There's no point in building infrastructure. This payback time is longer than the time we're going to spend building civs, so it's just not worthwhile. Divisions, give them an order, tell them to spread out. We'll deploy all of our divisions to this just to make sure they spread out for supply purposes. Oh, and Navy. I always forget about Navy. We'll finish the heavy cruisers, but we're not going to bother with the battleships. They just take too long to finish. It's a wasted naval dockyard. And then we'll just finish each destroyer that is in production. And I guess we'll finish the subs. They're mostly complete, so we might as well. That should be every decision we need to click. While the game runs, let's collect our Air Force. We're going to split off 200 tactical bombers. We're going to send them to the Spanish Civil War. Alrighty, that should actually be playing now. Okay, it's the 30th. Uh, electronic mechanical computing. We're actually going to put this onto basic armor protection. It's something we need and it doesn't take too long, so... Then we're going to put the 30 days that we saved up onto electronic mechanical computing. With Rhineland finished and electronic mechanical engineering finishing tomorrow, we are not going to take a focus. We're going to use this political power to go to free trade. We want to delay for your plan so that we don't get those research bonuses until after we started 1937 tech. The best way to time this is on the empty slot from electronic mechanical engineering. Wait until that has 28 days saved. At that point, you can select the next focus. That'll give you three days to start construction too. Okay, now we can select focus. Or your plan second gives you the largest boost to your economy. Okay, now we're going to tech juggle basic machine tools. We're going to put it onto mechanical computing, and then we're going to take the 30 days. We're going to put it onto basic machine tools. When basic machine tools finishes, we're going to put mechanical computing onto dispersed one and the empty slot onto improved machine tools. Um, given the timing, I believe we can actually select Goebbels and still get Dahmer when he's available, which will help us with our fascism support, give us a little bit more stability. Design ourselves a new cavalry division. We we'll use this as our garrison, but we'll also use this to spam out divisions. I queue up 150 here, but you actually only need to queue up 91. 91 will get you to 121 divisions, which will allow you to send seven volunteers, which is the max you can send to Spain. So only queue up 91. That's all you need. We're going to take these seven divisions, the three starting tanks, the one motorized, the one cavalry, and then two infantry, which we're going to convert to cavalry. These will be the divisions we're going to send to Spain. Okay, 30 days. Swap you to mechanical computing. Swap you into construction. And I gave myself three days. Nice. Now we're starting construction two, and we're not going to use the boost for that. 
already onto the research slot. Okay, we now have 75 political power, so we can now get the Civ guy. And now all we're waiting for is 150 political power, and we can go to War Economy. You might be wondering why I'm not going to send the attache this time, and that is the stability gain from having Gogols over time will be quite nice, because we'll slowly get more and more fascism support. Now let's start spamming these divisions out. They don't need to have equipment, they don't need to have anything, they just need to be trained enough to be spammed. Okay, that's the Spanish Civil War. Uh, we're a little short on divisions. Oh no, we have the exact number I wanted to send. We're good. We can cancel this. We're going to send our two tactical bombers to Spain. We're going to spread them out and just have them bomb. Battles last forever, so they're going to grind us a ton of air experience. Just get rid of the little pocket in the north first. So I'm going to start by grinding. Sap up's probably the best idea. Uh, give him a field marshal. We can use Odell for this. Give him an empty order. And then we just need to find a spot where they're not fighting. It's probably going to be kind of hard in the expert AI mod. I don't seem to be doing anything down here in the south. And I think we'll send these guys somewhere else. Maybe over here. Hopefully at least one of them can be grinding at once. And we are getting both, right? Yes. Autotarchy. Herman Goring. Get those civs. And then we're just going to stop and start both these attacks constantly. Grind as much trade experience as possible. Did I train the navy enough? That's the question. I did. Okay, we're just going to mass produce these subs. And, um... And we'll leave them training, I guess. Okay, he's at 99%, so we need to convert one of these tanks to a cavalry division. With that tank now a cavalry division, we are under the threshold, so we shouldn't grind Panzer later. Attacking over here is actually great, because there's the uh, there's the Soviet division. Actually, we'll bring you over here, because there's, there's a Soviet division here, and they're great to fight against. Because of the modifiers, they're not going to actually run out of orc, so you can just continually cycle attack them without having to worry about actually taking the tile. So it's actually really good. Go to War Economy. Missed that by a couple days, but that's fine. Dispersed is done. You know, we'll tech juggle this into the mechanical computing research slot. We're going to put mechanical computing onto the 1934 medium tank chassis. And then we're going to take the saved up days and put it onto mechanical computing. This will make it so that improved machine tools and mechanical computing complete about the same time. Okay, on to improved machine tools. We're going to swap basic medium tank chassis to fuel refining. And then use the empty slot to research disperse 2. And then we're going to take fuel refining, go back to basic medium tank chassis. And it worked. We only had the one day saved up. I would not recommend doing that in multiplayer unless the game's paused for someone to catch up. If you have like two or three days saved up, that doesn't work. Or if you let the game run for two or three days. But as long as the game's paused, it tends to work once. Um, that's a hill, which should be fine, actually. Um, let's convert you back to a tank. Let's get the research slot. And then we should be getting all of them right now. Organizer, Hillfighter, Cavalry Leader, and Panzer Leader. Okay, time to swap to Maximilian von Weichs. Now he is good because he actually grinds Cavalry Leader faster. Because he's a Cavalry Officer. And Cavalry Leader is the harder of the two to grind. Okay, 150 political power. Okay, if we go for Borman, it'll take him till the beginning of 40 to give us 150 political power. I think we're going to go for the Army Offense guy. And then you, you finished construction. Let's send you on to, we'll, just, we'll start doing pack research. That'll be worthwhile. Okay, after the research slot, we're gonna do Reich's Autobahn. Let's also start working on interwar artillery. And we need to import some fuel from Romania. Okay, now we're done grinding. I have a mind to convert these all to infantry divisions. Actually, I will. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna convert them all to infantry divisions and we're gonna put Wilhelm List in charge. Where is he? There. Him having infantry leader is quite good. Um, do we have the artillery to do this? I highly doubt it. We do. Okay, we'll do that. We don't need anti-air. Actually, I forgot to put anti-air into production. They have done a planned defensive up there, though. I think it might be worthwhile to move there, then. All these guys are reinforcing. These, this guy's just trucking it somewhere. Who knows where? Yeah, I should probably start a spy agency about now. Not a bad idea. Actually, I think that'll be our next political power expenditure. Okay, basic medium tank is done. We could start producing a little bit of that, but I don't think we will. Uh, let's do computing machines. Uh, what should we do? Let's start with pills. I hate having to rescue the actual spies. Disperse 2 is now finished. Because we juggled the research bonus, we can use the bonus on Disperse 3, which is pretty good. Uh, we can get the elusive gentleman. After Reich's Autobahn, okay, we're going to do army innovations, then we're going to Anschluss. The only reason we're not going to Anschluss right now is I forgot to actually deploy some divisions. How much manpower is this? 95,000? Yeah, that'll be enough. We don't need those divisions anyways. They're, they were simply to be able to send seven volunteers. Okay. Um, 
Go for the four across the top. I don't think I want to start rushing that yet. I started researching that now. Hold on, let me get industry liaisons. If I started researching fighter twos now, when would I get them? Early 39 already. Well, we'll have to go get the uh, designer next then. For the first spy, I always go with auto. Ooh, this guy's got all of the traits. We're going to continue on to the anti-tank upgrade, I think. Oh, the AI completed an encirclement here. Well, let's go work on cleaning it up. You can be our hold the line general. Deploy this manpower. We might as well launch loose right now. Right? As it stands right now, we don't have any research slots to do the improved medium tank chassis, so there's no point in getting the bonus. Okay, we have him organize our infantry leader, so that's nice. Now let's get rid of him. You get a lot of XP for some reason for deleting units. Okay, now he's a 4-6. That's actually really good. Also really lucky. Okay, there's an Anschluss. Now let's do treaty with the USSR. We're going to convert these to the infantry division and then assign them. What do we want to do here? Anti-tank. Okay, and we will import one from Spain and one from Siam. Uh, we're going to keep doing passive defense. And we are going to actually do the collaboration government here. I think we'll take the, uh, we'll, I think we'll take auto. We'll have auto sit here doing a quiet intel network. Having three spies for this allows you to just repeatedly chain the collaboration government rather than have to rebuild the spy network each time, which speeds it up significantly, which is why we went for the elusive gentleman earlier. Okay, let's go for, we're going to need infantry expert. I think that's going to be a must because the AI is going to build very good infantry. More importantly, it's going to spawn in really good infantry. Luxembourg, why are you spying on me? I wouldn't have even expected Luxembourg to have enough factories to do a spy agency. Advanced machine tools is done. We're going to wait the eight days. We're going to build two more civs in each one of these states. Then we'll switch to mills. I don't have to disperse three, so I can actually build the max in these states. Uh, let's get the battlefield support cost reduction. I think we'll go for the uh, we'll go for cast two. And I'm going to do something a little weird. I'm actually going to put a basic into production. Uh, we're going to use this as the base. Swap to sloped armor and a little bit of additional machine guns. Up the engine, up the armor. That should do. And then we're going to check this little box to auto upgrade it. Just a little bit of it. Uh, we should be able to take a little bit off these two now. Or there's the Republicans done. You know, I'm just going to put my Air Force up here and I'm not going to bother with, with the infantry. We've grinded enough. Heck, we've grinded enough. He's got an organizer himself and we need more infantry. We want 11. 11 will do. I think I'm going to go for logistics over army regrouping. Crazy that, as that may seem. I think we'll get centralized control right now. Okay, Japan needs a little help. Once we get those divisions back, we're going to send them back to Japan. Uh, send volunteers to Japan. Usually I send them to China, actually, but we're going to do it this way around just because Japan is struggling to work on getting him hill fighter. Not going to be easy because he already has two traits, but we'll work on it. And then let's uh, promote Wilhelm here. We'll give him unyielding defender. Air innovation's done. Let's go straight to Demand State Land. Yeah, let's go straight to Demand State Land. I'm surprised. Shouldn't the Yugoslavian aircraft purchases have happened already? Speak of the devil. Uh, we'll divert fighter production because we're not actually producing fighters right now. See if we can't just encircle those 15 uh, Chinese divisions. Okay, dispersed is done. Start working on our radar. Okay, so that is 18, 21 divisions. Okay, that is a lot of XP he's getting from killing all those divisions. Yes, yeah, so we're going to continue on to pack 2. AT2. And we're going to go 2 on transport planes. And we're going to start producing fighters. The collaboration government finished today, so uh, we got unlucky. We only got 30%. That's fine. We'll do it once more. Once this finishes, we're going to put the spy in Poland. The unit conference is done. That's nice. Let's go down to Feta Czechoslovakia. Let's send an attaché to Japan. Because they should be grinding us a lot of army experience if we do that. Our attachés will be sent where we please. They need to make that event way less likely. The mean time to happen on that event is way too low. Okay, let's queue up up all of the refineries we're going to need and then we'll queue up military factories everywhere else and then we'll push the synthetics to the bottom until we need them Ooh, i'm sitting at uh 500 air experience i'll, I'll go down to four okay, fade to czechoslovakia let's work on infantry equipment two now i think we'll just up our fighter production in preparation for getting the next tech. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with the uh, Porsche. The AI should build decent tank divisions, so that should be worth something. Okay, we'll put the squeeze on Yugoslavia. We're going to set up the puppet. You know why? 50% compliance. 100% worth it. Uh, now let's do tactical air effort. 
Oh, we got two thirty percent. It's actually so bad. Well, we'll do one collab on Poland, and then we'll go back to France. Then uh, we're gonna start a second line of tanks for reasons. We're gonna only put five on that line, though. It'll become apparent when I actually do it. Now, I could reassert Eastern claims into Danziger War, but I'm gonna do coal liquidization first. Okay, improved medium tank chassis is done. We're not going to immediately go on to the 1943. We're gonna stop off for some things. Uh, first things first, fuel refining. We'll finish two more for each state, and then we'll go on to synthetics. Okay, we can prepare the collab on the uh, the Polish. While they're doing that, you guys come build a spy network back in Paris. We actually need to do another one on Paris because we only got 60%. Okay, so this should have automatically created me an updated model of what I was already building, which it did, which is nice. We'll give that the proper Panzer icon, but we're also going to make a cheap, outdated one intentionally. And if you're doing this, you want to use the heavy machine gun. But the cheap one in production here, the good one in production here, and I haven't done conversion tech, but once we've done conversion tech, it'll be very worthwhile to convert from stockpile. Okay, let's get infantry equipment too. I'm actually going to stop off for rubber processing. I want rubber processing before we're done coal liquidation. Okay, 155, what did I want to do? I want to do a couple things. This is a really late war industrialist. I think at this point, there's actually no point in doing it. Instead, we'll go down to limited exports. That's going to save us so many factories. We just don't need to import from Hungary anymore. Okay, and we also just got the fighters. Let's get the CAS and let's design a fighter. Engines first, a little bit of range, a little bit of weapons. That'll do. Okay, we're going to want... So we have 79 divisions. Oh my god, what is the math on that? 17 plus another 24. We're going to take 7 to here. We're going to deploy U17 also to here. We'll grab you guys, put you here. Grab you two, give you list. We're going to put you on a field marshal front line here. We are not going to use tanks for Poland. We're going to grind the army experience. Okay, who do we want to assign here? Use Erwin. We're going to use a bunch of the uh, infantry officers. Let's add anti air and we'll just add the anti air for now. We don't need the anti tank yet. Coal liquidification is done. We're going to do synthetic rubber into Danziger War. And we should be rubber self sufficient by the time. Dancer Guru War Fires. We need a Logistics Wizard. I'm going to leave the last one empty. I don't know which one I want. Let's start deploying the air and getting them trained up. I'm going to be using groups of 200 just because it's easier to micro and I'm streaming. 100 is technically better though. Synthetic Rubber is done. Now let's do Reassert Eastern Claims. I'll train you the rest of the way in the field. We will give you... Let's do... I'm going to have to put an AT in this division. Weirdly enough, I didn't make the um, light TDs. Actually, we still don't have enough light tanks for that. We're going to have to go for full mediums. By light TDs, I actually mean light tanks using a basic high velocity cannon, but you still designate them as a regular tank. Oh yeah, I'm so used to playing non-Germany countries that don't need civilian trains that I completely forgot about civilian trains. I think we'll just have to go with von Manstein. I don't think the extra 50 political power is worth the 10 speed. Let's go for a professional officer corps. Professional Officer Corps pays itself off. Okay, we did the collab on Poland. We still only got a 30%. Man, we are so unlucky on that. Okay, we're going to go for Von Manstein. Von Manstein, not Steen. I can power through this pretty quickly now. And then we'll go do uh, Army Innovations 2 to get a couple more bonuses. Let's get the uh, support weapons. Eastern Claims is done. Danzig or Wartime. Um, I think I'm going to have to deal with the fact that these guys aren't trained. Feel a little short on planes, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to have a hundred fighters escorting over Western Poland. Seems about right. Now let's up you guys to five each. Uh, what did I want? What did I want? Conversion deck. That's what I wanted. Uh, you guys aren't allowed to use this tank. Hold on. Was that the wrong one? That was the wrong one. Panzer four A, you're not allowed to use. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, if I did a collab right now, it would be done pretty soon, actually. We'll do a third collab, and then while we're waiting for that to prepare, we'll go rescue this guy with auto. We could do another doctrine, but I'm not going to. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for political loyalty. It gives you a deceptive buff. This isn't actually plus 15%. It's a 15% increase to the cap. The base cap is 15%. So what this effectively does is double your party popularity stability modifier. Okay, we're going to use the 300% boost on fuel refining. It's just way better to use it on that. Fuel refining has a base cost of like 300 more. Not 300, like three times more. So it's way better. Uh, let's see. We're going to do army innovations too. 
And we are going to battle plan these guys. First, we got to get to the fact that they're last standing. Uh, straight up not protecting possum? Okay. Classic AI. Attacking one tile with one unit. Even though it's got seven units starting on that tile. I don't know. I feel like AI Poland was actually weaker than normal. Well, at least we're not getting bombed into the Stone Age. That's the important part, right? Can you guys just kill this pocket real quick? Not a hard task, I swear. Uh, can you guys just walk into that tile now that they've left? So that's the fall of Poland. That seemed much easier to capitulate them. Definitely helped that we had a collab government on them, so they capped once we took Warsaw. Oh, I forgot to do Molotov Rib Drop. I mean, I always do it after the war starts. Like, that's not even, it's not even a question. I always do that. Usually I start it when I do the war with Poland. Poland. Poland should be good on local police force. Here I'm just moving around the air force. I find if you have over 400 fighters in a region, the AI will not bomb you, which is pretty nice. At 400, it's about iffy though. Okay, what do we need? What do we need? Uh, how are we doing on trucks? We're really good on trucks. Let's put a little bit more on tanks and a little bit more on air then. Okay, we're going to speed five until we can do... Well, I mean, we need to delay a little bit, so... Yeah, we can stop off to do army innovations and then around the Maginot. We'll just put you on a silent network. What am I importing overseas? Actually, that's perfectly fine, because the AI is dumb enough to actually let you naval bomb them right here. Yeah, we should just start... The expert AI mod cannot fix this. Okay, there's Japan taking out China. They want to send me volunteers. Yes, we want to accept that, because you can't declare war on a nation that you have volunteers with. That's perfect for us. Okay, six tanks are done. Sep, who needs to get promoted and given logistics expert, aggressive assaulter, and offensive doctrine. And then we have Von Weichs here who ha who needs to get combined arms expert. That is a lot. Ooh, I oh, there's 10 subs. Nice. I feel addicted to clicking these buttons. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Best thing in the game is just clicking the buttons for when you're bombing a navy. I do need to up my tactical bomber production though. We're going to train these guys just a little bit, maybe about 10 or so. Okay, Army Innovations 2 into around the Maginot. We're going to let the winter pass. Let's go for the Prince of Terror. Damage to Garrison is actually really nice. Okay, let's put two of you guys here, and then we're going to draw a fallback line with these two. Just back here. We're going to build up two, two, and two, two, two. That'll be enough. 16 days. We'll get all the air bases we need. Yes, we will honor the pact. Let's go for naval mission efficiency, actually. Oh, wait, wait, we can get all three. Okay, infantry. We got a basic nine in one. I do not have anti-tank in it yet. I have the anti-tank. I think, I think it's just going to be better to not waste the anti-tank on France. If we check the French tank division, it has 15 armor. Okay, if that's the case, we're actually probably going to need to put AT in this, which is fine. And then... Just a basic 30 with 9 and 7, or that's a 9 and 6. 60-40 split. I am finally caught up on fighters. 3,600 fighters for end of January, that's not bad actually. Okay, army innovation's done, let's do around the Maginot. Um, we can just barely sneak in an anti-communist raid. We should do that. Okay, collaboration government is done, so we got three 30s. Uh, let's go start spying on the English. Okay, let's grab... You guys put you here. You guys put you here. Grab another 400, put you here. And we'll also grab 400 from here and put you here. Uh, focus wise, what should we do? I don't really care to do Operation Westerbun, or however you say that. Uh, we'll get the railway construction speed. It'll be useful for the Eastern Front. Okay, let's declare war. They actually have more planes than us, but we have better planes. And the Netherlands just rolled over and died? Excuse me? little awkward. I didn't even have to go off speed 5 for that. Some of these minor nations seem way worse than the expert AI mod. We can finally invite the Italians. We can finally get that extra spy. That would have been useful a long time ago. Oh yeah, anti-tank upgrade. Okay, we're gonna wait for the railways. How do you have... Oh, you're getting supply from the river. Okay, in which case we don't need to wait for the railways. I never declare war on Luxembourg. Weird little thing I do, but like Luxembourg messes up your front line on the Maginot, so I just don't ever do it. Okay, just a little... Quick little battle plan. We'll set you guys back up over the Benelux. Okay, let's go down to speed four. Speed five might be a little fast. Okay, so they actually extended Maginot and then they didn't garrison it. Cool. Sounds about right.
we have South African divisions here. That's actually really good for us. There's Canadians over here and there's South Africans there, which means they have fought in the war now. Okay, you can get infantry expert. That's nice. Okay, the fact that they've last standed Liege and Brussels is really bad for us and really annoying. They'll give us their superiority. Okay, there goes the Belgians. Let's get... We need a Soviet spy. Ooh, we have to attack the Canadian division. Once they take casualties, they're considered in the war, so... Okay, we got a little bit here. So they can't pierce our tanks, even if our tanks have no supply. Interesting. Then again, I can't pierce my own tanks, so that's not that big of a surprise, actually. Okay, are you ever going to run out of command power, France? The amount of last standing you are doing is quite annoying. Oh, I've also done this all without Rommel. Because why not? We're going to kill so many British divisions here. They're going to have nothing to, f to defend with by the time the French actually capitulate. We're trading so well. Oh my god. You guys keep pushing to Brest. You guys take Cherbourg. You guys go north of Cherbourg. You all keep going to Nantes. I'm pretty certain that's where the carrots are from. But I could be wrong. Okay, now we can get the armor guy. Rommel, we finally found a job for you. So a little bit more of a slog because they actually have done disjointed government. For some reason, they don't get rid of it in base game. I don't know why, but they just don't. Okay, you go take Dijon. We want to steal their mustard so that we can destroy the plant because nobody actually... Mustard sucks. I know, I said it. I will not apologize. Oh, there's Vichy. Interesting, is that enough to cap them? Yes, it is. That's way more casualties than I was willing to take. But we caught a lot of allied miners here. So, who do we want to invade with? I think we will invade with Von Bock. Through the English Channel, because I always do it through the English Channel. I could get supremacy in the English Channel right now if I wanted it. Because the AI is still being a derp. Since Vichy established, it might make sense to do a collaboration government. Because they seem to have a lot of factories in the south here. Let's do the collaboration government. Yeah, they had a lot of factories. We can actually get rubber from the collaboration government. Um, so now we're up to 179. I said 163. So we actually did get uh, 16 more factories from doing that. There, I guess. Uh, how are we doing for artillery? Yeah, so everything else is just going on tanks and planes then. I have 65 currently. I've had 140 in multiplayer though. Well, it really depends on if you're winning the air war. Like, if you're not going to win the air war, any anything you put into fighters is actually wasted. Um, let's default to local police force. No. No, we want you on civilian oversight. We'll do military governor for the low countries. It'll do, I think. Collaboration governments are so good. We're just casually losing compliance over time. I'm actually going to set Breakthrough as our preferred tactic. Just because I hate getting countered. It was on the tank. Uh, breakthrough. Let's swap to Independent Air Force. We can cheaply appoint Herman Goring. I'm not going to launch the Naval Invasion until you die. That's actually not true. I'm going to launch it at the end of this month. I want to land actually about now. Okay, put air up over southern England. Let's declare war in Luxembourg. Just take them out real quick. Swap you to military governor as well. And then, yeah, let's launch this naval invasion. So we're going to grab these guys, put them here. We're going to turn this to OK. We're going to change this to avoid. And we just get the launch. Let's see, do they have anything? They have nothing on Dover. They have nothing on Dover. I swear, every single time, if you can get supremacy, you can just, you can just do it. I mean, like, this is a core problem with the way the AI is coded. There's nothing the expert AI mod can do about this. Honestly... Best case scenario, they have like two divisions. You know what they say about flooding supply? Who cares? Flood your supply. It don't matter. Okay, you guys just push immediately to Bristol. I mean, I'm surprised they don't have more of their fleet here, if I'm going to be honest. Ooh, that is the dynamic reinforcements. <laughs> okay, um, let's try and encircle those dynamic reinforcements. You guys pin. You guys go around. No, no, no. Pin, pin, pin. There's 13 divisions there. We don't want to allow them to leave. 
still just the UK. So if we cap them before the end of the month, then we will cap the allies, assuming the US does not join. Okay, you guys keep moving there. You guys keep moving up. Okay, you guys come down here and just take Plymouth. Okay, we're going to go around Hull here. Pin in. You guys go over to Liverpool. Dangerous move here. But if we move up the cast, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Circle you back here. Take Sheffield. Sheffield's the actual uh, supply hub anyways. Uh, we need Bristol. If you guys could, please. We also need Cardiff. You guys are good to go around them. You guys attack in. We're doing just fine. We'll send one north of Liverpool. We'll take the province south. And then that should be okay. Go take Newcastle and continue on to Glasgow. You go take dumb fries and you okay we actually need to stop and start that battle some of the ai's divisions weren't actually in it that should be them capitulated there we go allies done okay we're gonna take these provinces for ourselves we'll obviously take all of poland that's fine let's take malta Gibraltar, and all of egypt i'd like to point out we actually got all of the miners straight in this because they all showed up in france we're going to give all of free France to German France. You're going to puppet Canada, Australia, uh, South Africa, New Zealand, and the Raj. Now, we are also going to satellite British Malaya. Uh, we are going to satellite the Dutch East Indies. We'll take, all, we'll take all of their states and then we'll puppet the UK, hopefully. Okay, I'm just going to give the rest of England states to England. Because I don't care. Okay, let's put the entire army on the soviet border and we need to start working on a spy network there what you got to do is you got to get a local spy agency where is it local training centers and then you got to get a you got to get a soviet spy because they're way less likely to get captured and now we have a uh, 277 factories double your industry with this one simple trick so let's see how many dynamic reinforcements have spawned in that's it huh, felt like it would have been more Uh, tripartite pack, sure. Yeah, we'll pay the MIFO bills. Oh, actually, now that we're at peace. Yeah, local police force. Actually, I think I could go to civilian oversight. Yeah, civilian oversight for Poland. Let's improve national spirit. I could use a little political power. Okay, with Hungary in the faction, we can now build a supply hub here. Let's work on level 5 railways all the way up to the front. Okay, we got another one captured. Okay, we just need to brute force this to 30%. Yeah, okay, let's work on training up. Straight to 24 we obviously have fuel for this. Let's see how quickly. Yeah, because we have so many of these, but we're producing so many. There we go. There's the improved medium cannon. You know, we'll, we'll use the Panzer 4G. Improved medium cannon. 8.2 kilometers an hour is fast enough. You know, I'm fine with 78 reliability. And let's give this the longer barrel. Look. And now we need chromium. Luckily, we can get one from you and one from you. And a little bit from you, and it don't matter. Um, do we risk it and go for 50? Okay, we'll risk it and go for 50. Yeah, seconds of conscription. We need to train up a second army. Oh, they have the famine. Is that a bit early for a famine? Okay, let's reintegrate Lask Lorraine. Okay, let's go send Otto to go rescue these guys. And while he's doing that, let's prepare our first collaboration government. Interesting, that's going to cost us 14 civilian factories. When we finish excavation three, I'll actually do um, I'll actually do logistics companies because I don't have logistics companies yet. Okay, reintegrate Alaska Lorraine is done. Sure, we'll integrate. Oh, finish this focus, and then we're gonna go down to do war with the USSR. Okay, Italy took five states, and Bulgaria did. Bulgaria didn't join the war, so they couldn't take them themselves. Wait, hold up. Why is this not a core? Huh? Why is this not a core of the Kingdom of Greece? Kingdom of Greece technically has no core states right now. That is actually ridiculous. Oh, I should actually start training uh, at least 96 more divisions. Okay, uh, anti common turn back. Okay, they both agreed. We got 24 Panzer divisions, which isn't anything special, but it's good enough. Okay, I'm going to set two pincers up here around both bulges. One in the north here, just going up near Grodno. And then one in the south here, going past the 
or Bathan Mountains. This should encircle a lot of divisions and send the entire Soviet army into disarray. We have 1,400 fighters and 500 cast in the north, 2,600 fighters and 1,400 cast in the center, and I've also got 2,000 fighters in the south. Oh hey, we finally got the advanced medium tank chassis. How many Panzer IV A's do I have? If I don't have any of those in stockpile, then I don't need to preserve this queue. In which case, we will put the Panther into production. Okay, well I can start training up. I can start training those guys up. Put them on really low priority though. We're gonna set up the second army of 96 divisions, of 96 infantry divisions under Walter Modell. We're gonna perfectly overlap his front line with William, Wilhelm List's front line, there is no point in putting them side by side. You actually lose more casualties when they're side by side than when they're overlapping. No, we'll, we'll give you logistics expert and then division recovery. And you, no, we'll give you division recovery as well. Those guys should all get to the front just in time for this focus to be done. We're just going to leave the queue empty because we are going to end up with a bunch of repairs that we're going to end up having to do. So, so we're going to do a little bit of micro to start this off. Push in a concentrated direction here. And they are not piercing us. How much piercing do they have? 29, nothing, nothing. They got nothing. Okay, you guys this way, you guys this way. We're gonna delete your orders now. Uh, I actually forgot to start attacking with you. They have force attacked that division literally to death. You guys keep going. You guys are running into divisions that are force attacking, but you're doing so much damage, you're just going to destroy them anyways. You know what I just realized? I didn't actually put logistics companies on my tanks. Probably do that. I have a little logistics company. How are we doing air? They actually have 6,000 fighters up. I'm surprised I'm winning considering they have so many up. Grab all the guys behind the lines. Okay, let's collapse this pocket in the center here. Um, I'm pretty certain that's one of the mods I run to make like the front lines look better and stuff. I don't think that's actually Paradox's fault. Okay, can you guys make a push towards Kiev? He is a very important city. And then you guys should probably make a push towards uh, Minsk. Well, we'll push one tank across directly. And let's see if we can uh, walk up this way. We are about to get cut off here in the center. I think. Yeah, we're going to have to have you uh, walk in here. This doesn't actually seem any different than normal. I think I might be able to battle plan pretty soon. Let's move you guys up to the Ukraine and then... Yeah, we're just murdering them in the skies, even with less numbers. Let's just battle plan a little bit. It's going to be lazy. Okay, we finished the first collaboration government. What did we get on the first one, anyways? We actually got a 45%. That's actually really good. Okay, let's push up to the river line. We're going to try and take Vitesk and Smolensk and all of the supply hubs and railways that we can. I wonder, have they spawned in dynamic reinforcements yet? A little bit. Go across the Gomel. And we need to upgrade yeah this railroad i have no railroads none of them are active you guys go up this way you guys come through here and you guys push this way Okay, I'm just going to try and snake to Crimea with these tanks. See if we can't capture the city real quick. Supply over here is terrible, so the faster you move through it, the better. How did the snake to Sevastopol go? Not well. Oh, they don't actually have front lines here. That's why they're not clearing this. Okay, transport planes 
over Crimea. Unfortunately, they don't drop uh, fuel. Let's see, they've lost 2 million casualties already. And that's not including the center pocket. Or these 11 divisions up here. They have a ton of planes. They went way too heavy on planes. Honestly, I'm just going to give you guys a field marshal front line and tell you to go aggressively. I'll tell you all to just go aggressively. I think I can just battle plan this until they get until they get their reinforcements. Okay, where are those three divisions? Unassign, drop them here. Okay, there we go. Sebastopol is ours. Still in preparation, that's unfortunate. Uh, so we can't take Moscow until that happens. Oh, here, have 10 more tanks. Now you can have Guderian. This is a nice encirclement here in the center. There's about 40 divisions here. It's going to be a massive part of their actual army. Uh, you guys come around here. Maybe we can steal an overrun? Maybe? No, I don't think so. Okay. Upgrade you two. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you two. Upgrade you two. What are they up to now? 3.17. As thin as their lines are, they had a lot of manpower on them. Oh. Did I actually right click Stalingrad? I did right click Stalingrad. Um, I think we should take a couple more supply hubs and then I need to pause. I cannot take Moscow before the collaboration government starts. Otherwise it'll get shifted and then I won't have the stuff and then it's just a big mess. Okay, Stalingrad has fallen. Yeah, we need to, we need to stop your orders. I mean, I can still manually push, but yeah, let's draw one link sections all the way to Stalingrad, because that rail is only a level one. How are we doing on equipment? We are running at an anti-tank. If we take the majority of this river, we should be able to get supply from Rostov to that supply up. There we go. And like magic, we have supply all the way up. Okay, let's do the stupidest thing we can do. We're going to assign all of our air to our main tank army, and then just watch the AI move it. Or not. Okay, it's starting to move it. Okay, it finally launched. Anyways, let's continue with the push. Uh, let's grab a tank and drive down to Astrakhan. We'll grab a tank and make sure that they go down the other side. Because we'll immediately get supply in this supply hub. Oh, 10 divisions up there. Nice. Uh, go take that. I think it's a supply hub. Can you guys push that supply hub? Uh, you guys push the Gorky. How close to capitulation are they? Pretty close. I think if we, I think we just need to make it to this river line, we'll capitulate them. You guys take, take that supply hub. Oh, usually that lag means you just uh, capitulate someone. Alrighty, all of eastern Poland. Let's just take the river line. River line seems like a good place to take. Kiev, and then we'll take down the river line. We'll take these two states as well. And obviously we need Baku. I feel like they extremely turned, they like super toned down the amount of um, dynamic reinforcements. Oh, I didn't think that was going to take their cores. Can I reset? I cannot reset. Well, that's a little ugly. Sorry, Romania. I was leaving this part for Romania. I was going to make it, you know, bigger Romania. Okay, thank you for watching. That is the capitulation of the Soviet Union. October 26, 1941. I was considering invading the United States in this run that I did on stream. However, given how easily the Soviets capitulated, I just didn't consider it worthwhile. So I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. I will be doing a video on collaboration governments and just the math behind how much they're worth from an industry perspective. Anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.